You're listening to the Manage My Home podcast, the podcast for property owners who would like help with their rental properties. This show is based on the RPM WV Phoenix team's experience in leasing and managing homes and will give you useful advice and tips to succeed with your rental property. And now, from Phoenix, Arizona, here is Lisa from RPM WV Phoenix. Happy New Year and welcome to Manage My Home. This is our first podcast of 2019. Today we're going to be talking about selling your home and showing your home when you have pets. I do have to disclose that I have three pooch people, so I am very partial to pets. But there are definitely some steps that you need to take in prepping your home and showing your home because, of course, not everybody is partial to pets. And the goal always when selling your home is to present the home as neutral as possible. So we definitely recommend removing as many of the pet's belongings as possible, bagging up toys, um, you know, maybe keeping like one bed per pet in the house if you have multiple um, while you're going to be showing it. And then definitely want to do a deep cleaning. We recommend having a using a professional company to come in and do a full deep cleaning. Take a good look at the lawn. Obviously, make sure that pet feces is always picked up. If there are any holes, you know, if you have any dogs that are diggers, you want to go ahead and get those covered up with dirt, rock, grass, etc. Look at your sprinklers. Do you have any broken sprinkler PVC piping? Um, any sprinkler heads that have been chewed off because those can be signs to people that pets are living there. Um, door frames. So you want to go ahead and check out your door frames just to make sure if you don't have, you might have a chewer or a scratcher on your doors, your door frames, you could have damages there. Hardwood floors, you want to look for any issues there. Also the travertine. We actually have a puppy who enjoys um, scratching at the grout and licking at the grout that they put in the porous holes of the travertine. So that's one other area you can kind of take a look at and you may want to get it regrouted, resealed before you put it on the market. And then of course, for the showings, it is important to have your pets removed. And if possible, you know, remove your pets. Like what we've always done is we'll, you know, take our dogs out for a showing. We take all their dog beds with them. Um, this way, you know, they're not there at the showing and the and their items aren't present. You know, same if you have cats, if you can possibly take the cat out, definitely get the litter box out of there for a showing for sure because you don't want to have any odor. And then um, our tip for this month is in regards to the government shutdown. So I don't know if some of you have had some tenants who have called and said that they're not going to be able to pay their rent on time because of the government shutdown. Well, there's some good news. The banks are willing to do loans to those employees off their paychecks. So they just have to contact their bank. Um, They need to provide the letter that the government provided them, you know, explaining the government shutdown. It's a letter that they've been provided that they can give to creditors as well. So it's the same letter. And they can go to their bank and kind of get like a paycheck a paycheck loan and they can get it done pretty quickly. So this way it should help you, you know, in avoiding having the late rents come in and kind of, you know, then having to worry about your tenants getting caught up. So we appreciate you listening. And if there's anything you would like discussed in uh, on our podcast, please email us at info at rpmwvphx.com. If you do own a rental home here in the Metro Phoenix area and are interested in management services or are looking to sell your home in the Metro Phoenix area, please call us 602-358-8130. Thanks.